Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. As you can see winter has started. Everyone around here is um, cutting firewood for their fireplace with their chainsaws. And in fact I have a chainsaw on my table right now which I'm going to be looking at. It's um, one that I worked on before. I think I repaired the oil leak on it. Anyway, the, um, the person who gave it to me has done a little bit of work on it. Uh, I think they changed the primer uh, bulb which is actually called a purge bulb and also the fuel lines and um, anyway it's not working I tried it and it worked for about five seconds and then cut out again um, I'm, I've taken the, the top off taken the cover off and uh, I can see exactly what the problem is but I'm going to show you and I'm going to take out the whole carburetor and work out exactly where these fuel lines are supposed to go and um, well, take it from there enjoy the video okay so here we have three different fuel lines the yellow one here goes from the side of the carburetor and it goes into the purge bulb, primer bulb. Then we have this one on this side over here. This comes from the side of the carburetor, goes into the fuel tank. And then we have another one from the primer bulb into the fuel tank as well. The first thing I have to do is disconnect the throttle. There's a screw underneath here. Now I'm going to remove the fuel line from this side and the one on the other side as well. And now I will remove the two screws that hold the carburetor to the manifold. And now the carburetor can be removed. So I'm just noting the position of the fuel line, the yellow one before I take everything apart. And now I'm just going to remove that rubber grommet where the other two fuel lines go through to the fuel tank. I think that's going to be a little bit difficult to get out. Finally got it loose. And now I'm going to replace the fuel lines the way they were where I found them. One went in the top. And now to make it a little bit easier to visualize, these two fuel lines over here, the one with the filter on, and this one here, they are actually in the fuel tank. I'm just going to remove this. This fuel line is in the correct position. You can see that the fuel filter is on there. And if I undo that screw, you will see that that is where the diaphragm is. And there is another fuel filter inside which is actually supposed to be in there but it's missing. So now I've replaced the little filter and I can put everything back together again. So the way it's supposed to work is every time you push the bulb fuel is drawn up through this line here, goes through the carburetor, out that line there and back into the bulb and if there's any excess uh, fuel, it comes back into the fuel tank. And the very simple reason why it is called a purge valve is because another word for purge is to expel or get rid of. And what it does is uh, when you push the bulb, it removes the air out of the carburetor and replaces it with fuel, which comes in this side here. So first I'm going to show you the difference between a primer bulb and a purge bulb. Here we have a lawnmower. And I'll just take the air filter off. So I'm going to push a primer bulb on the side and should be able to see petrol squirting there into the throat of the carburetor. So just to further demonstrate how the purge button 
uh, purge bulb works. I'm just going to fill up this container with fuel. Now I'm just going to put this fuel line with the fuel filter on the end into the into the mixture. Balance the carburetor over there. And remember this side here is where the fuel enters the carburetor and this side over here attached to the purge valve is where the, uh, the fuel is drawn through here through this fuel line and drawn through the carburetor. So if I can just put a syringe on the end here And then I can pull the fuel right through there. So now I'm going to connect the purge bulb back on again and push it and see if it works. It should be coming out of here. And nothing at all happening. So if I swap these lines around, put that one on the bottom. This one on the top. So now that I've reassembled the chainsaw, I've put the carburetor back in place. The fuel lines are in the correct position. I'm just going to give that purge bulb, primer bulb, a few pumps get the fuel flowing and then I'm going to go outside and uh, start it up. So thanks for watching.